Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I've got the new PAS sensor. Um, so what that does, it goes on the non-crank side and um, what it would do is assist me while I'm pedaling. So I'll have the three modes now where normally it would have one mode which is just doing manually, one is um, throttle and now I've got this which is co combination of pedaling and um, the electric motor kicking in as well. So um, hopefully that kind of like works. Um, I might need to swap over some of the wires. Um, so the way it goes on is it goes up this way. I need to take off this arm, chuck that on. There's a little slot up here for the wire to go through. And then this end goes onto the controller. So I'll show you how that works. So what I'll do is take off this arm first and connect this up. So yeah, I've loosened that up. So it's gonna take off this. There you go, the bolt's off, and then take the arm out. Might give a bit of tug so the arm's out. Okay, so normally, yep, yeah, it would go like this. The point being at the top because the wire's at the top, so it's gonna go literally go in like that. But what I'm gonna do, take this cover off first so there's all these little holes. I need to take all the screws out and then pop this off, so I'll do that now. Right, so the cover's off now, so what I need to do is locate the wire that connects to uh, the pad sensor. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so I've located the connector but I'm not sure if the wires need swapping over because you can see you've got red there, purple, black, but here it's green, red, black. So I might need to swap these red and green over. So I'll come back to this at the end. What I'm going to do is carry on with the installation. Right, so this bit goes in here. And you can see there's a little wire kind of slot here that the wire would kind of go in and then you tuck the cables in. So what I'm gonna do is push that in and sort that out. Right, you can see this is now on. So that wire is gonna go here. I'll probably put a bit of tape on there so it holds it in place. Put the connector on and with the cover off, just test it to make sure it's all working before I put everything back together. Right guys, so um, I did have to swap over the wires, the signal and the uh, 5 volt the red wire um, and it's working so um, I've tested it I've put everything back together again I didn't want to show you how to put it put it back on again because it's just a reversal uh, process it's a little bit messy in the inside but I'll sort that out later I just wanted to get it working um, so yeah what I'll do now is show you a quick test right guys so I'm going to test it now just do it with the throttle first so it works with the throttle and then I'm going to test it with the pedal assist so just give me a second it's a little bit awkward so when you're going slowly it doesn't do anything but afterwards after a certain speed there you go it kicks in and then it stops after you stop pedaling so i'm happy with the results all working good so yeah thumbs up right guys so um yeah if you like this video to remember to like comment subscribe i'm not sure what to do with it next um, i've got another project on the side um, so yeah, this might be on hold for a while, but I'll see how it goes because I always change my mind and um, I'll do other stuff. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.